Captain Amrinder Singh, the Chief Minister of Punjab, has resigned. मैंने गुजरात के मुख्यमंत्री पद के दायित्व से त्याग पत्र दिया है। He's going to be putting in his papers today when he seeks an appointment when he goes and meets the governor this evening. As 2021 comes to a close very shortly, many chief ministers are going to be looking back this year as a year which wasn't good for them. I'm Pallavi Ghosh and this week's One Take is on how 2021 actually has been a pretty bad year for many of the sitting chief ministers. The list is long. Let's start with Karnataka, Uttarakhand, then of course there's Gujarat where the sitting chief ministers were replaced and the reason was that because their central leadership felt that going to elections with them in that seat would actually not help the party electorally. So you had, for example, a powerful chief minister and a Lingayat leader like Yadurappa being replaced by Bhumai in Karnataka. In Gujarat, you of course had Rupani suddenly who does a press conference and says that he is going to be quitting and stepping down as the chief minister. And then you have Bhupendra Patel taking his place. And Uttarakhand, not one, but two, two chief ministers replaced finally by Dhami, a young person who the top leadership felt was the one who could actually undo the damage which was being faced by the BJP in the state because of these musical chairs as far as the CM goes. So these are those three BJP rule states where we have seen a quick change of the top leadership as far as the CM chief is concerned. The Congress party of course not lagging behind. In the Congress party also for example, we saw in sudden developments Captain Amrinder Singh, a chief minister for nine and a half years, a politician for almost over 52 years, having to dramatically give in his resignation, but not without a fight. He wrote a long letter to Sonia Gandhi listing his achievements and also making it clear, I may be down, but I'm not out and I'm going to fight back. Well, picture abhi baki hai. We'll have to wait and see what amount of damage can Captain Amrinder Singh do to the Congress party ahead of the elections in the winter of 2022. And in a surprise move, it was the low profile, but the controversial Saranjit Singh Channi a Dalit Sikh who was made the Chief Minister. Will he be able to replace a towering personality of uh, Captain Amrinder Singh? Or will he be overshadowed by another towering personality and the aggressive and brash PCC Chief Navjot Singh Sidhu? And Sidhu, for what I'm being told by my sources, is likely to be projected as the CM face once the election campaign begins in Punjab, which means it makes Channi even more of a rubber stamp stopgap arrangement kind of a Chief Minister. That's not the only change which we have seen as far as the chief ministers go. Now, let's take a look, quick look at the Sam, for example. Now, Sonowal was a sitting chief minister. He also took the party to a victory, which is that BJP comes back to power in Assam. But he doesn't become the CM. The one who becomes the CM is one of the long time waiting to be CM, Himant Biswa Sarma. Again, someone very powerful, someone who delivered to the BJP, not just in Assam, but in the Northeast as well, who took on the mighty Rahul Gandhi leadership in the Congress party. And Sarma seems firm in his saddle as the Chief Minister of Assam and expected to play a very powerful role as far as the other Northeast states are concerned, especially with the Trinamool Congress now inching uh, in its expansionist plan, beginning with Tripura, for example. Now, what is it that happens as far as these chief ministers go? Now, all eyes are for there, for example, on uh, Himachal Pradesh as well as in Haryana. Now, both these chief ministers were handpicked by the central leadership. There's a certain amount of dissent which is taking place in Himachal Pradesh if you go by the ground reality or the ground kind of a feedback. Many MLAs are believed to be unhappy with Jairam Thakur's style of functioning. They feel that he is uh, too laid back. He perhaps may not be able to deliver. But they're also not too unduly worried because in Himachal Pradesh, the Congress party seems to be floundering. And especially after a device, demise of uh, Veer Bhadra Singh, who again was a powerful, powerful personality, the Congress doesn't seem to be having a replacement uh, for Veer Bhadra Singh. And that gives an edge to the BJP. Yet the BJP is not known as a party which is willing to take chances. And therefore, the possibility of a Jairam Thakur actually exiting is something which may not be completely ruled out. 
in a twist of a humor recently when there were posters put up when the president of india was there there was a pun which was actually done i think it was a faux pas it was a mistake which uh, seemed to be suggesting in place of jai ram uh, thakur it was actually about suggesting it was gaya ram thakur or he's on his way out well that was humor uh, it was a embarrassing moment and therefore uh, the bjp did not give too much of importance to it now let's go to haryana khattar again was a surprise pick he was hand picked by the top leadership but there have been moments of discomfort for example it was not a clear majority for the bjp in the state and that's why they needed the help of dushyant chautala the worry is that chautala may be flexing his muscles when it comes closer to elections and this time they don't want to take any chances they want to have an absolutely clear majority and that's where khattar may actually be removed or replaced will he be that's the big million dollar question then what about 2021 i'm seeing a lot of reactions coming in on my social media timeline some in humor some making the point that hamam mein sab nange hain and every political party does it but i think it's also a reflection of the fact that you don't no longer have these long serving chief ministers if we look at chamling the longest serving chief minister of any state that's of sikkim ever since independence jyoti basu as a chief minister of west bengal manish sarkar the chief minister of tripura again a longest serving chief minister these are big names which are being thrown up they actually managed to create a cult for themselves and therefore strength for themselves but as the central leadership cutting across party lines seemed to be becoming more and more powerful it also very became clear that a long serving a longest serving chief minister is something which may not be possible the exception which immediately comes to mind is that of Naveen Patnaik now he is the boss of his own party and therefore he calls the shots within the party and he decides how long he remains as a chief minister so that's a different example but no longer do the bjp or even the congress party allow that space to the sitting chief ministers now in the case of the congress party and this is something which we touched upon the last time round also is that it shows or is a reflection of the weak congress leadership now with the removal of captain amrinder singh i think the congress leadership has tried to flex its muscles and also to show that you know they can actually ensure the removal of a sitting chief minister but the example of punjab is very different from say rajasthan or chatisgarh an internal survey so shows in rajasthan and chatisgarh that the mlas continue to support ashok gehlot and bhupesh baghel as far as chatisgarh goes so that punjab type of experiment cannot take place in these two states in punjab it was easier for the central leadership to step in because the captain was almost giving it on a platter to them because he was losing out on the support of most of the mlas he was becoming increasingly unpopular and therefore for the central leadership to swoop in and also to ensure that the replacement takes place quickly was not too difficult but to say that chenni is going to have a free run or that he is going to have its mood the signs the beginning signs doesn't seem to be so now as far as rajasthan and chatisgarh is concerned that's a state we are going to watch out for elections are still a little bit away but as we pointed out an internal survey reveals to the congress top leadership that their sitting mla seem to be still backing gehlot as well as bhupesh baghel so that change may not be swift but when we wind up on 2021 we are seeing that many of the sitting chief ministers were actually must be hoping that this year ends very soon in many cases it came suddenly who would have thought that yedurappa one day would actually be replaced by the bjp leadership remember the last time now he became the chief minister it was after much of muscle flexing he tried to show that you know he actually had a large number of mlas with him this time when he was on his way out he certainly seemed to be very down no murmurs you're hearing from yedurappa but of course picture abhi baki hai we'll have to see what kind of picture comes up closer to elections so is the case as far as gujarat goes because nitin patel a teary eyed nitin patel also tried to make the point that why he may not be upset but i'm sure close to election he would also try to make the point that why was he left out once again do given your reactions what do you feel about the fact that 2021 has not been a great year for our chief ministers it's certainly been a great year as far as the central leadership goes because it has added to their power certainly even a so called weak central leadership like the congress party where they managed to have this kind of a planned coup in punjab thank you so much for watching we are going to be coming back with more next week because as we say the election season is on